my collaboration with Andy began uh, you know, very gradually over time because we were both working on uh, a problem that had never been solved, a, a sort of technical problem of how do you put DNA back into an organism. And you know, as most people know, the DNA uh, encodes all the genes and, and makes us what we are and makes our cells do what they do. And scientists for many years have been studying uh, the DNA by using an approach called genetics where you find mutations that disrupt a gene and then uh, they allow you to tell what that gene function normally is. So one of the tools that we need in order to study organisms is a way of putting genes back into the animal. And so Andy and I began collaborating when we were trying to develop tools for delivering DNA back into the animal, which in this case is C. elegans, the, the nematode. But it had never been done before. When you're doing something that's never been done before, you know, it's really hard because you never know how close you are to getting it to work. It's never been done and every time you try something it doesn't work and you still, you know, usually don't actually learn anything about why it didn't work. So it's actually a great way to start a collaboration because the way you started is by saying, hey, did you try this? I tried it and it didn't work. <laughs> you know, and the, so you're not so worried about being scooped because you, you're, everything you're doing is not working. So it's a, it's a great way to start um, talking to people, uh, you know, who maybe you might think of as a competitor. Andy was working in his own independent lab at the time. And we developed a, a real rapport and a respect and um, gradually, bit by bit, we chipped away at that problem and got it working really well. And so that's how our collaboration started, very gradually.